Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. It looks like somebody here after there's been an ending, somebody is trying to transform and offer something to you. Okay, we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, Scorpio, Energy. Then we have Earth, Energy on the bottom of the deck with the Page of Pentacles. You see this Nine of Cups, the Death card, and then the Page of Pentacles. Somebody might be coming back towards you and they're changed. Divine Masculine could be. They could have been changing from, look at this. You see this Nine of Wands and this Devil energy. So somebody here might have a sex addiction. Somebody could have been an extreme player. Someone here feels left out in the cold. The person that wants to make this offer it feels left out in the cold and abandoned. We'll see, though. I'm going to shuffle one more time. Show me your spirit guides. The energy for the Divine Masculine, please. As it relates to the Divine Feminine. How does the Divine Masculine currently feel, please? Divine Masculine. All right, Six of Cups, so this person's missing you. Now, when I say Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading, this could totally be a soulmate or a twin flame. Apply your situation where it fits, okay? Six of Cups energy is, you could have, some of you guys have a history with this person for a very long time, or this could just simply be this person thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about past memories. Some of y'all may have history with this person. This person could be a past like soulmate here. There is an energy about when this Divine Masculine thinks about you, Divine Feminine. They have good memories. They have good memories. Child, playful-like energy here. How's the Divine Masculine feel over here about the Divine Feminine? Pickles. Two of Pentacles. So somebody, there goes that Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody here, the Divine Masculine is like weighing their options about something. They're missing you. They're thinking about you quite a bit, but somebody's weighing their options, which I don't understand. You know, when this person thinks about you, if you're the Divine Feminine, right, and that's where you resonate, it's like when this person thinks about you, they think about you as this loving, kind person, right? They think happy thoughts when they think of you. They think about the good memories. You were good to this person. Look at this. <laughs> King of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Somebody here could have Leo in their chart here, but mm, they definitely could have been a player. Like I said, when I saw that Knight of Wands energy and that Devil energy, I'm telling you, this person loves you, though. They do love you. They miss you, and they're thinking about you. Okay, there goes that Page of Wands. Let's see what this communication is about. Let's see what the communication is about. Show me more here. There goes the chariot cancer energy. Hmm. Oh, something just flipped in reverse. Two of wands. This went in reverse. So, somebody here may have made, they're ready to make a choice is the energy that I'm getting here. Somebody here was going back and forth in between you. Maybe you felt juggled by this person. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. That five of pentacles is back. This person, I feel like they want to communicate with you. If you have this person blocked, they're trying to overcome that block or they're going to find a way around this to communicate with you. That's for some of you guys. The Two of Wands upright is about somebody who's waiting, who needs to make a decision. There's two different pathways. There's two different roads to go in. Which way am I going to go? Am I going to choose this path or am I going to choose this other path here? And especially with this Two of Pentacles being here, I do want to clarify this Two of Wands in reverse real quick before I say something. Why is the Two of Wands in reverse here? Hmm. Why is the two of wands in reverse? All right. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. So it looks like to me, the queen of pentacles just came out with the nine of cups. Okay. Queen of pentacles with the nine of cups. And I would say for some of y'all, this could be third party, but I'm not getting that yet. If We'll see. We'll see. Now, it's highly likely. We did, the, the devil card didn't come out yet, but with the knight of wands didn't come out yet, but, but some of you all, that's what you're dealing with here. But I feel like, too, this person thinks about you. For some of y'all, maybe they have a choice in between an earth sign and a water sign for some of y'all, okay? Uh, others of you, this person just is no longer waiting and they're ready to make a decision and they see you as this queen of pentacles and this nine of cups and they're trying to bring balance back into the, the situation all right 
Let's see here. Let's clarify some of these for the Divine Masculine. Why is the Page of Wands here for the Divine Masculine? Page of Wands is here. This is a choice. Lover. So somebody here may have a choice between two people. Or this, they definitely feel a lot of passion. You know, the lovers is about passion, sex, good chemistry, strong attraction, you know, like a feeling of soul tie even. Show me more here. They might want to communicate with you about a choice that they made. Why is the two, why is the page of wands here? Mm, yeah, this person is trying to communicate with you. They just don't know what they want to do. Eight of Wands in reverse. There's been some form of delay in them making a choice to two of swords. There's a delay. But the, the chariot is here. So it's like this person, there's still an energy of them wanting to overcome something here. But let's see. Why is the chariot here? What was that? The, yeah, see, the, this person is really wants to overcome this and have the willpower. This person is trying to work up the willpower here because for some of y'all, this person is in anxiety. They're stressed out. They can't sleep. They can't eat. It's like they miss you so much. They can't stop thinking about you. Why is the cherry here? They have probably have not found a way. Yeah, they were given the two people six of pentacles. They know they breadcrumbed you. They know there was an unequal give and take. They know there was no balance in the connection, which is why we were seeing that justice card on the bottom of the deck. They are stressed out in their head, can't sleep at night because they were like, damn, I messed up. I really fucked up. Like, I can't believe this. How am I going to overcome this with the divine feminine? Yeah, they're still holding on to this. They are still holding on to this. Oh, boy, they're still holding on to you. Show me how the Divine Feminine is currently feeling, please. How does the Divine Feminine currently feel? Ooh. Three of Wands in reverse. I don't know. How's the Divine Feminine feeling? Five of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Ten of Cups upright. I don't know, Divine Feminine. It looks like to me you guys actually want to work this out. And you don't want to fight anymore. You, there goes that Devil card. And the Judgment card. Scorpio and Capricorn energy here with Judgment and the Devil. Let me get one more here for the Divine Feminine. I feel like you, the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Leo energy. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords. So it looks like you're in the energy of healing, taking a break. You may not have said anything or communicated anything with this person. <sighs> you, I feel like you guys kind of put this on pause or you kind of stopped communicating and speaking with this person. You just put it on ice because you didn't want any more drama. You didn't feel like this was going anywhere. You didn't feel like there was room for growth or expansion. Does this person make you happy? Yeah, too. But this person may have like some sort of family situation here that could have gotten in the way or caused some form of conflict here. But it looks like with the judgment, you might be realizing that either A, this person had a third party. That's why you put it on pause for some of you guys. Others of you uh, want to give this a try again but we're gonna see we're gonna see show me judgment here for the divine feminine okay this nine of pentacles just flew over here on the divine masculine side i feel like this divine masculine is actually think they if this person was involved with somebody else they're single or, or, and this could be the case for the both of y'all, the, the uh, Gemini energy, the magician came out. You might be manifesting something here. You're currently single, or maybe you're trying to manifest this person to be single. Mm, we'll see. I mean, so whoever's single here, somebody's either about to be single, and I feel like that's the divine masculine since it went over on that other side. What's the magician, please, for the divine feminine? What's this have to do with the divine feminine? Two of cups. Yeah, you're manifesting this. You're manifesting this. I hate to tell you this shit. <laughs> you're waiting on this person. Seven of pentacles or you're waiting on somebody else to 
some of y'all have moved on. You're waiting for a real love, okay? That's for some of y'all. But for some of y'all, y'all really want to manifest this person back into your life, whether you know it or not. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? I definitely feel like this person has a third party influence. There's some truth getting ready to come out. What's this truth with the devil? Why is the ace of swords here with the devil? Some sort of ending. <sighs> Death cards. More Scorpio energy. Show me this queen of wands. That's the, that's the third party. You know this person had a third party, seven of swords. So you found out this person had a third party, like I was saying. That's why you ended it with them. Yeah. But I still feel like you're holding on to this person and you're thinking about them quite a bit. For some of y'all, you really let it go. You may have, you might still be holding on to this person and you might not be talking to them. Okay, with the hermit being here. Yeah. Let's see what this is about. Show me more for you for this connection. So y'all both love each other. It's definitely been rocky between the two of you. It's been like a really long, rough, tough road. And I think you're deciding whether or not it's worth for you to continue to work out. You know what I'm saying? But the five of wands in reverse is like you do want to come out of conflict. But you felt like there's no growth here, you know? The two of you may have even, you know, not willing to settle down or be responsible. Time to commit and put down roots. So this person was not ready to commit. They wanted to be with somebody else. They didn't want to be in a committed relationship. You know, for some of you, this person was very, you know, irresponsible. Yeah... Something about this person's actions spoke loud to you. You know, you felt like you were just another number. You felt like you were just another number. And the reason why I'm saying that, you see this, it's like just, a, you felt like you were just another number. So you four swords did. You were like, no, I'm good. I can't do that. Yeah, but the truth is, is that this person is feels empty without you and I feel like most of you guys divine feminine you're waiting on your your true two of cups and you're manifesting your true two of cups all right let's see dark side yeah your dark side keeps you from enjoying the love that you have don't let it steal your joy I that came out in reverse and you decided I feel like you decided you know what I'm not gonna let this keep me down I'm gonna end this I'm not going to deal with this, you know, You're, but somebody here is grieving. Somebody here is grieving. Um, I, I guess you felt like walking away was the best thing for you to do. You know, it didn't work out the way that you pictured it, right? You're definitely feeling the loss or this is your person feeling the loss of something here. Okay. So there goes this neglect neglecting, not paying attention to what's important and decides what's truly worth spending time on. You see what I'm saying? Somebody here, I feel like, has some inner childhood wounds, abandonment issues, neglect issues from the past. This person didn't pay attention to you when they had you because they wanted to do whatever it was they wanted to do. Let's see what those blockages are, but when they had you, they didn't do right by you. Now they're in this five of pentacles energy. Show me the blockages here between the Divine Masculine and Feminine. Blockages. Somebody stalking you on social media. Somebody stalking you on social media. I don't know. You're about to have a surprise unwanted visit, a surprise unwanted phone call, whatever it is. And I think this energy came out in a reading I did maybe like two days ago. It's about like, oh, somebody's about to pop up at your house. Maybe I'll link that video at the end of this, okay? it's This person, for some of y'all, is stalking your place. This person knows your schedule. Or they're hoping that they can run into you, you know, just out and about. Okay, so for some of y'all, this person lives pretty close by and they're watching you. What we have here, non-committal. What did I tell you? This person's so non-committal. <laughs> yeah. They weren't ready. This person here was worried about what was on the outside and they were worried about what the third party could give them. They were very selfish. They wanted what they wanted when they wanted it. They did not want anything serious with you. And I feel like they didn't want anything serious with this other person either. 
you know. It's unfortunate. Somebody's obsessed here. Somebody's obsessed. Look at this energy. Mm. Mentally unstable won't take no for an answer. Somebody is hot with you that you're not talking to this person. This person's going to pop up over to your house and love bomb you or try to make up with you and send you some flowers or a gift or something. And I'm telling you because that energy is here. Lock your doors, lock your doors, scary obsession and surprise gift. Unexpected. I'm telling you, you're either going to receive some form of unexpected communication, some unexpected package, or this person is going to show up at your job, or they're going to show up at wherever the hell they know that you're going to be, right? So don't be like on social media posting what you're doing and who you're doing it with, because this person is going to go look up that other person's information to find out where you are, so make sure you be careful with that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> show me show me the blockages here for this divine masculine. For this person who's non canoe. This person cannot walk away from you, I'm telling you that. They are having a hard time walking away from you. See, sex only. I cannot make this up. You see what I'm saying? The blockages are this person was non-committal. All they want was sex and just a good time. And they wanted you to accept that. They didn't want to leave you alone. But I don't get it. You know? This person is would like walked away, was willing to walk away when things got tough or rough. But you know what I mean? Like they didn't want to try to work things out with you at all. You know. Hmm. This person, I feel like, is a runner. They're afraid. They were afraid to be loved by this Queen of Cups. They were afraid to be loved by this Queen of Cups. Yeah. You aren't communicating needs clearly. You need to discuss how you feel. So this person did not was not willing to tap into their softer side, their more gentle, feminine side, just to communicate with you. This person doesn't want to, they only want to see what's on the, on the outside, what's above the surface. This person was not ready for anything below the surface or anything. This is giving very like superficial, you know, e living in ego energy. Let's, let's just be real here. I'm sorry to say that, but this person wants to come towards you. But they're afraid that you're going to reject them. And you, I mean, you probably will. From what I'm seeing, they put you in third party, lied, cheated, dealt with you and about five other people. Who knows? I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. You see what I'm saying? Now this person's apologizing. They know that they hurt you, right? They know they were, they're in their head over here, can't sleep, can't eat. Because they because they know they gave you an unequal give and take, an unequal balance. They they juggled you. And honestly, this person still hasn't made a decision. They still haven't made a decision. Mm -hmm. Um, yep, look at this. I keep hoping to bump into you everywhere I go. I can't make this up. This person is trying to run into you. If you see this person at a supermarket or whatever, like, no, this not to run into you. This person either knows your schedule, they know where you frequent, or they know where who you hang out with, or they know what you do on Tuesday, or they know what you do on Thursday. They may make sure you're not putting your business out on social media, or if you know a mutual friend or whatever, don't have your business out in the street. That's all I'm saying. If you don't want to run into this person. Now, if you do, then, then just expect. Uh, now they want a future with you. Look at that. <laughs> this is funny. And they want, yeah, we know they want to kiss you. They also want to have sex with you, too. I've been working on myself. They say they've been working on themselves, you guys. You going to take them back? You can do whatever you want. You're grown. You're an adult. I'm ready for commitment. OMG. Oh, I can't let you go. That's that four of pentacles energy. So this person can't let you go. They might be coming back, but just, just, we'll see. We'll tap into this energy a little bit more. But this person now is like, oh, I want a future with you. I'm ready for a commitment. I can't let you go. They definitely says, I let people manipulate me into ghosting them. Right. Or they really, I feel like that's the energy of they allow another connection to distract them from the divine feminine is what they did. 
I don't know what happened over here now, what changed their mind, but but let's see. Okay. So is the divine masculine really really ready for commitment with the divine feminine? Temperance. Okay. Oh, they ready to fight for this. Ten percent of nine of wands. Ten percent of nine of wands and the chariot. Yeah, they're ready to fight for this. I don't know, you guys. This person ready to go to war. I don't know. But they are really in their head about it. Eight of Swords just came out. Why is this person in their head? Why are they having anxiety? What are they having anxiety about? The moon. They're afraid. They're afraid. What is this person afraid of? I just heard afraid that this person is so afraid. The Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Strength card just came out. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Look at this. The Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Strength card. This person is scared. They, I feel like they're afraid of emotion. Like being honest about their tapping into their emotions. Why is this person afraid, Holy Spirit? The Empress. They're afraid of the Divine Feminine. Why is this person afraid of the Divine Feminine? Show me more on this Empress. The Wheel of Fortune. In reverse. Show me more on this Empress. The Three of Swords. There could be somebody in this person's energy who they can't move on from or they can't. For some of y'all, there could be somebody in their energy that they can't move on from. Like could be somebody they have children with. Now, that's not for all of you or this person is like heartbroken and they can't move on with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In reverse. Like this person cannot let go of you and move on. This person's in their head. They're afraid. They want to overcome this emotional, then get out of their head and feeling stuck they're trying to find the strength to come towards you because this person is so heartbroken six of swords this person really wants a peace of mind but for some of y'all this person might have somebody else but they want you let me let me keep let me, uh. so what's this person's next move Show me this person's next, the Divine Masculine's next move. The world. The Emperor. This Emperor's getting ready to end something. And they're, they want to... They, the world, the Emperor, and the Three of Cups. This emperor is looking at this three of cups. Show me more here about this emperor. And their next move. They're about to, yeah. They're, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. The hangman. Somebody is, yep, okay. So now this person is seeing something for what it is on the bottom of the deck. The ace of cups and the hangman. Somebody, Pisces energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces or you could be a Pisces. Now this person is realizing what they want. They want to reconcile. They want a real love. They're getting ready to end with the death card here. They're getting ready to end something with somebody else. They know they're going to have to do this with one or two or three of the people and they know they're going to have to choose in this ace of cups there's one cup but this emperor is looking at this three of cups i'm going to show you they know they got to choose now here's the thing you if you're the divine feminine might not even be interested in what choice this person makes you might not even care you've moved on <laughs> you might not even care yeah Okay, so there you have it. Let's see what this person wants to say to you at least before we go. What do they want to say? Let's see. Let's use our hidden truth to deck. See what the real truth is here on what they want to say. Okay. What does this divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine, please? Oh, 
<laughs> Oof. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I felt that. Where did that card go? This person's hiding in the shadows. The way this card just slid underneath the rest of this, these cards that are out here, this card slid. I'm telling y'all, this person is like trying to see you. I'm gonna listen. Okay. You know what? Okay, we got a spirit. Thank you so much. <sighs> listen. This person is not over you. They cannot let you go. Number one, they can't let go of the sex because the sex looks like it was amazing. They want you so bad. They cannot get enough of you. They cannot stop thinking about you. They, you know what I just got you guys with? Look, I want you so badly. I can't get enough. This person misses the sex for sure with you. It's not as good as it was with other people. I don't know why this is coming up, but it is. It is what it is, okay? I miss hearing your voice. I feel like this person low-key misses hearing whatever you was doing or saying in the bedroom when y'all was doing it, okay? Okay? I'm just telling you. It says, I'm having trouble with intimacy. I'm not over you. Let me tell you something. This divine masculine is not having trouble with intimacy. The only trouble they're having with intimacy is whoever the hell this third party is that's not giving it to them like you gave it to them. Let's just keep it real. Okay? Hmm. I don't know why, what made them choose to go over here to this other person. That was must have been temporary. Like, that had to be temporary. Hmm. They may have used them for money, collective. I saw on the bottom of the deck that I'm going through financial issues. Maybe this person used them. I mean, it's too bad, so sad. I don't want to let you go. I'm telling you, this person does not want to let you go. They wish they could go back in time and make a better decision and not give to more than one person, right? I daydream about a life with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you... You 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 had an empress. You you dropped the empress for an uh, empress for what? For who? This person wants to know if they still have a chance with you. And can they make things right? <laughs> I compare others to you. I told you this person compares other people to you. Nobody can do it like you. Nobody. I'm telling you, can't nobody. Listen, I want to start over. This is funny. This is funny, y'all. This is so funny. I mean, this person won't listen. They want another chance. They cannot let you go. They're heartbroken. They're not. They feel like there's unfinished business. They're in pain and regret. They daydream about you all the time. They really, 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 really miss the sex. Okay, beware this person may not have any money or this karmic or whoever they were dealing with. This other person, this third party may have drained their pockets. If they come back towards you, that's not for everybody, okay? But it does look like this person is low-key trying to stalk you, looking you up, trying to run into you on purpose, and then they're going to act like it's a, it's a mistake, okay? It looks like they're trying to, they, they regret it and they realize they made a mistake. Okay, so I don't feel like this person's about to let you go. Some of y'all have let them go, but mm. Mm. this is crazy. Um, the zodiac signs here I see Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, lots of Cancer, Leo energy here. Um what else? Taurus. And that's it for Major Arcana, okay? But, any, I mean, oh, and Gemini. I think I saw Gemini, too. But, anywho, so that's going to be your reading. Let me know if this resonates. I love you guys. Until next time, uh, stay safe and trust your intuition.